Hey everyone, so in this video I wanted to go over a few AI tools that can help you in your VFX and production and design pipelines that are utilizing all of these really AI advancements. I get asked a lot how we can actually use these tools versus just showing off shiny AI objects or the next big thing. Now these tools have something special that you should be able to actually integrate into your process or your pipeline. If not in the major professional way, there are also other use cases for them. Now if you're new here, I'm Ben, and I am really focused on making new tech and AI platforms accessible to absolutely everyone, but especially creatives. I have a newsletter that I put out once a week, and I also created an AI toolbox that you can visit at any time to hopefully keep up with everything at your own pace. Okay, so let's dive right in. Now this tool allows you to generate 3D models, animations, and textures in seconds. They say it will drastically reduce the time and the money you spend to create 3D models. Now it's called 3D AI Studio. All right, check this out. Create stunning 3D models with AI. You can generate images from text prompts, so text to 3D. You can load pictures into their interface and do image to 3D. So this is the image that they uploaded and this is the 3D uh, model that it gives back. You can texture something. So basically put a JPEG in here and then it will texture the ax. I know exactly how hard this is to do sometimes and how long it can take. And it can actually remesh a 3D object in seconds. Again, another skill that uh, could take quite some time. Now, if you wanna just take a look at this right here. So they're saying that if you generate this, this is an image and if I were to click generate, it would literally generate the 3D model. If you're familiar with 3D programs, this looks like any one of the programs that you would look, that would, you would use. It uses literally the same left to move the image like this, right to pan, left and right. Use a scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Now uh, I'm gonna move down here and show you this. It says 3D assets one prompt. This is their example. Zombie turtle five legs high quality uh, dark. So uh, it's generating that model and this is what it's saying that it's gonna give you back. And then you should be able to go and remodel it from there. Testing the creation of an AI generated cars. This is pretty cool. This is an image, quick demo. That's kind of cool. It's a cat. It also even has a Blender plugin where you can actually get more from your favorite design tools like Blender and Unreal Engine with easy to use plugins, whether you're a beginner or a pro. Yeah, and that's really great because I know a lot of people like using Blender and that's what's so great about Blender being open source. You can actually just generate your 3D objects and edit them inside the program that you wanna edit them in. Now, this one doesn't really give you the opportunity to try a whole lot for free. I'll put a link in the description and you should check it out for yourself. Well, what are the use cases for something like this? Well, think about it. There's pre-visualization, which is what people do before they make movies where they're planning out all their shots. You can create video game assets. It's for VFX, 3D design, graphics. So many times I've said, if I could just turn this 2D image into 3D and then change the perspective just a touch, now you can. Simulon is a pretty cool tool that just came out. Now, the main use case I see for this is to be able to use it for pre -vis and even to create AR experiences. Now they're rolling this app out slowly so I don't actually have access yet, but let's check a few of these things out. This is what happens when you come, you can actually join the waitlist uh, right here on their website. Now, now this is on their Instagram. It basically takes you through the entire process, uh, similar to any of these AR apps that you've been able to use um, or these scanning apps. You basically scan the entire environment and then you're basically scanning all of the different objects that would be in your environment that all of these 3D objects will eventually interact with. You pick your item or you could even upload your item because I'll show you something in a second, but now it's literally in the space and it knows everything about where everything else is in that space. There's a creator, John Finger, who I think is absolutely fantastic and he shows some of his workflows. Let's take a look at this, what he's done and the pipeline he's created. All right, so there's this cool military looking, lifeguard facility here that I can draw over. I block out just a little scene of some sort of weird alien growths coming out of the fence and some robots guarding it, and then make kit bash sheets of all the parts I think are gonna be involved in them. putting that all together. And they're assigned kind of by what their style is gonna look like when I put them through Magnific. 
And then I'm loading them into fondant to make 3D assets. And then I can go do some mocap that I will then kit bash the character into. And then I go back to the location. All right, so the lifeguards had that area coned off. So I just reassessed the location a little bit and let's see how it came out. Sir, you should not be here. Move along. Go on. Oh, okay. All right, so there's this cool... So I'm really excited to get my hands on this, to check it out. I know there are a lot more people working on software like this, and I'm excited to see how they push each other to get it to the next level. Now, Skyglass is another really interesting tool that allows for people to really dive into the idea of planning out their shots, which again is called previs, pre-visualization. Now, a lot of people can't afford the technology it takes to really do in-camera VFX, like say Avatar or Disney's The Jungle Book, where, where they were able to actually use a camera and see basically what the end product would be instead of the blue screen in front of them to allow the actors to actually feel like they're interacting with things a lot more. But this is a really interesting option for the other people, right? The people who can't afford that or don't have access to those tools. Now this tool allows you to use one of the sets in their library or even upload your own Unreal environment and basically have a virtual set. Well, it isn't perfect, it by far isn't horrible. Here's me trying it out. I put myself in a post-apocalyptic environment. You can actually film yourself or even just turn the camera around and film the actual environment. Walk around it like you were there. I was literally just in my backyard, but you're able to see that it is like I am actually there. And this is what I see in the camera, so I can actually view myself. Now, there are a few other tools in the world coming out, so I am sure the competition is going to be fierce, pushing these technologies to keep getting better and better fast. Adam Motive is a pretty innovative tool. I ran into these guys at a conference recently and got a demo firsthand. Now I've seen something like this done before, but it was with proprietary software that another company was not letting anybody else use. You actually had to work with this studio in order to have the ability to use this software and animate in this way. Now anyone can use Animotive and can use this software, and I think it's really going to push the boundaries of animation using VR motion capture. So you use this by putting on a meta head quest and basically just acting out your scene. You can set up cameras, characters, lights, whatever you want, and then just create. And you can even use the animation that you create in other platforms and download them into like the likes of Maya or Blender or wherever you want. Now the quest will pick up your movements, like your lip motion and do the animating for you. What can this be used for? Well, true 3D animation, previs, game assets, you name it. This is such a useful tool to have that hasn't really been quite available to the public until now. It's pretty innovative. And if you look right here, they're literally in their environment. They're moving around and they're able to capture that. Uh, see, this is, um, you're basically able to design the look and feel of the characters that you want. Uh, it's easy and intuitive. Like literally, this is putting the cameras in place and being able to do that, shifting around the lighting however you want. Uh, this is pretty neat. You can even, you can even collaborate remotely. Um, and that's an image of a character, create a 3D asset. You could work with, what they're saying is you could work with Cinema 4D, Maya, Unreal, Adobe, uh, Blender. Try, uh, you could use their worlds, create your own 3D worlds, invite your friends. Um, Take a look at this. This is the motion capture. He's literally just wearing this headset, moving around. And see, they're even, the mouth is catching what their mouth is doing. And you can even capture multiple scenes. Take a look at this. There's this camera and this camera, all set up with one. All, all to say, this is pretty innovative, and if this is where it is now, just imagine how animated films are gonna be made in the future. Hope some of these new production and VFX tools are helpful and useful to some of you. I will keep a lookout for more of them as they continue to improve, and I'll update you all along the way. I'll see you in the next video.